just defensively, what do you think of the job you guys did tonight, kind of holding DeMar in check and Zach in check? Um, I think we were pretty solid. Uh, we got to do a little better job keeping them off the free throw line, um, stop fouling them on, on jump shots. But um, we did all right. I think we, I think we showed them a crowd and showed them two, three people at, at all times. Um, gave up the shots that we wanted to give up and, and kind of just pushed from there. So I think we did okay. Um, how much fun are you guys having looking for Grayson uh, on the three-point line? I think it's more fun booing Grayson. <laughs> um, obviously, I think it started off just the fans booing him, but it I don't know. It, he'd be hooping when, when, when we boo him, so uh, maybe, maybe it means something to him, uh, just some form of support. So I'm still going to be booing the hell out of him. <laughs> Uh, just for you, as you're trying to, they're going to send help at you and Giannis. Just what are you seeing out there as you guys make the pass and then an extra pass and have the ball movement going? Honestly, man, just playing as a team. There's guys out here that can uh, do multiple things, a uh, variety of things. So just trusting in your teammates, like I said, or like we've seen, Grayson making great plays, Bobby doing what he does, uh, Pat, Brooke. Uh, I feel like we just have this well-rounded team, and, and it's not just up to – myself or even Giannis to make plays for other people, but take what the defense gives us and then uh, have our teammates do what they do. How early in the week did y'all start booing Grayson? <clears throat> Was that something that started in practice or y'all just been doing it on the sideline? Um, honestly, I think it was – I think we were booing behind the scenes maybe that, that first time we played Chicago at home. Um, they were booing him like crazy out there, but – you know, in practice and stuff like that, we boo him and, and we kind of uh, make a joke out of it. But when we booed him during the game and, and he really started hooping, man, just <laughs> I think we just stuck with it. What have you thought of your response since dropping game two coming to Chicago this week? It seems like you guys really found your rhythm again. Yeah, I think it, uh, it sparked something. You know what I mean? It lit a fire. Um, <clears throat> I don't think we t took that game for granted, but uh, we definitely felt like we could have won that game. And um, like I s Chicago's a good team, but uh, we had to turn up the intensity and we, and we felt like we did the last two games. Drew, I know you guys have appreciation for every teammate that you have in that locker room, but when game one happens, game two happens, and it's been kind of rough, but you see Bobby, you see Grayson come off the bench, you see Pat always putting the work in. You know, do you, does that give you guys maybe more motivation, more appreciation for each other in this playoff push and moving forward, thinking, man, it's it's another special team, it's another special mix. Yeah, you love to see it. Um, I feel like we're this team, we're this family that loves to see each other uh, succeed. And uh, uh, even though it is next man up, we feel like everybody on our team has so much talent. So for somebody like Grayson and Pat and even Bobby to really show the world what uh, they bring to the table. Uh, we love to see it. And even like last game with Luca, I mean, that was the first time I saw Luca play. Uh, <laughs> even what he brings to the team and, and um, really just how smooth he plays and, and the passes that he was making, um, I think from every aspect and every corner of our team, we love to see the success. What's the formula on Wednesday to try to close this thing out? Um, I think one is just being competitive, as competitive as possible, um, playing, our, playing our hearts out, leaving it out there on the court. Um, two is, again, showing the crowd again. Uh, knowing that they have great players over there and it's hard to play one-on-one. -on -one. Um, there's some great scorers, so uh, just for them to see multiple people and, and I think for our defense just to swarm and play the same intensity that we did these last two games. You talked after the first couple games about cleaning up the turnovers. <coughs> how, did, how did you do that the last couple of games? Um, I think just not being indecisive, uh, knowing what you want to do when you get into the paint. Uh, we're going to have a turnover. Uh, make him take it out on the side. No, no uh, 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 transition turnover. So uh, I think we did a really good job. We weren't lax with the ball. Uh, very, very strong and um, did well at the double team. And hey, Drew, I asked about this uh, after uh, the game Friday night, but what do you like about that four guard lineup? You either have Giannis at the five or, or Brooke at the five, but it's obviously something interesting. Yeah, it gives us something different, you know? Um, I feel like the way we swarm is a little different. Uh, we play a little bit faster. Um, we might lack rebounding, so uh, that's when everybody's kind of on guard. And knowing even myself, 
uh, as a guard, I got to get back in there and rebound. Um, and then uh, really just the intensity of it. Um, we, we know if it's Giannis or somebody in the paint, it's tough to stop them. And we know that they'll make plays in the paint for, for us out to three and, and things like that. So uh, it's fun to just switch it up, uh, see that we can play either big or, or even go small. And just going off that with uh, you know George out and Javon getting more minutes, what do you like about his defensive intensity? With Man, I love it. I love it. He's, he's a dog out there. Uh, I think uh, the energy that he brings, um, we follow that. And, and uh, for him to be picking up full court and to getting into Zach and, and DeMar and being able to switch on to those guys, um, for one, it gives me a break. Uh, it gives me a chance to play off the ball and, and uh, not use as much energy uh, fighting through screens. And, and that means a lot. And then um, offensively, man, he's always available. He's always going to knock down those open shots and, and really, really reliable. When Zora asked you after game one about filling filling the game out, you mentioned you felt rebounding was going to be something that's big. Obviously, I think you guys had like 51 rebounds this game. How have you seen that change in game three and game four where you guys really seem to have found that rhythm and look like the old box? Right. Um, I just think being cognizant of it, uh, concentrating on that. Um, I would say a lot of it is BP. BP goes up there and he snatches those rebounds. and. From there, we push in the break. Uh, I love it when BB grabs rebound because then he's trailing in for those threes. So, um, again, just attention to detail, uh, knowing, knowing what our mistakes were the first couple of games and then fixing them.